In this video, we will look at how the booby traps used by the Viet Cong soldiers during the Vietnam War work. Viet Cong booby traps became known because of the damage they caused not only physically but also psychologically to American soldiers during the Vietnam War. Physical and psychological because the damage and pain caused by these booby traps on human body was really horrifyingly unimaginable. The American soldiers entering the enemy's den would be really nervous because at any moment, one of them will fall victim to a booby trap. Also, take note that often, among those who have fallen victim to booby traps were soldiers who were very tired from the battle, causing their situational awareness to drop so they didn't immediately notice the traps around them. Let's start with punji stakes or spikes. It's not really the trap itself. It is used in different types of traps. It can be made of sharpened bamboo, wood, or metal. It is often laced with snake venom, human or animal excrement, or poison to make its effects worse. The first trap is the punji pit. This is a large, deep hole in the ground with many spikes embedded in it. On top is a cover full of plants and leaves so that the trap itself is not obvious. Anyone who falls here will surely be unalived because of the size and number of spikes placed here. Even if the soldier survives momentarily, it is difficult to get the victim out right away because of the number of spikes placed and the depth of the hole. Trap Bridge It's a bridge that's intentionally broken in the middle of it. But it's not just a broken bridge. At the bottom of it are many punji stakes that are often hidden under water or mud. After the soldiers reach the middle, the bridge immediately breaks, causing the soldier to fall to the punji stakes below. As you can see, this is also a fatal trap like the punji pit. Spike Board It is an elongated board with spikes on the other side. This entire board is covered with leaves or plants. When the other end of it without spikes is stepped on by the enemy, the other part with spikes will hit the head or chest of the enemy who stepped on making this a very fatal booby trap. Bear Trap Initially, what the Viet Cong used was this metal bear trap. but. It was easily detected by the enemy's metal detector, and because they only owned a few, the Viet Cong innovated. This trap consists of two boards with spikes. It is kept side by side in a hole in the ground, which in turn is covered by plants or leaves on the surface. When the trap is stepped on, the two parts will fold and the spikes will pierce the enemy's feet. Even if it's not fatal, the actions of the opposing soldiers will slow down. Venus Fly Trap This trap is named after the real Venus Fly Trap plant that literally eats insects. This trap is a box with spikes pointing down at an angle. When the enemy's foot slips through, it is not really very vulnerable, but when the foot is pulled up, the spikes will pierce the foot, making it so dangerous. It is also not fatal, but it will slow down the movement of the enemies. Maze Trap the maze trap has different designs. It can be made of wood with spikes, rounded mud with spikes, wooden box with spikes, or round cement with spikes. This maze trap is hung with a rope, which in turn is tied to the tree. Its trigger is hidden, which is a rope connected to the maze. When the enemy hits the trip wire, the maze will immediately hit the opponent. This is a fatal booby trap due to the force of the maze strike due to its weight and distance. Side Closing Trap This trap consists of two slats of wood with spikes. There is a rubber placed across the two slats to create tension. In the middle of the two slats, there is an iron or wood stick placed to separate the two. When the enemy steps on the iron, and also because of the tension caused by the rubber, the enemy will be pierced by two slats with spikes. This is also a fatal booby trap. Tiger Trap This trap consists of a board or wood with spikes. 
it is tied to a rope which in turn is placed on top of the tree. Like the maze trap, it has a trip wire. When the enemy moves its trip wire, it will immediately fall on the enemy's head. Depending on its weight and height, this trap is really fatal. Door trap. This trap is different because it's placed inside the house, particularly by the door, but it's still made up of spikes. Like other traps, it also has a trip wire that is tied to the door of the house to the trap itself. When the enemy opens the door, the trip wire will be pulled which causes the trap to swing onto the enemy's head or chest, causing it to become a fatal trap. Bamboo Whip Trap This trap consists of a bamboo that has been bent. At the end of it are spikes placed. This end of the bamboo is tied to a rope, which in turn acts as a trigger. When the enemy moves this trip wire, the end of the bamboo where the spikes are will come off and hit the enemy's chest or head very hard. This is a fatal booby trap. Snake trap. This booby trap uses a snake instead of punji stakes, but not just any snake because they are green pit vipers, which are known to be venomous snakes. One of their styles is that they put venomous snakes like this in a big and deep pit. When the enemy falls, the snake will immediately bite him. The problem is that if the enemy does not get out of the pit immediately, the snakes will repeatedly bite him until he is unalived. Another way of doing this is that the Vietnamese soldier puts the green pit viper in a bag and leaves it somewhere. When the enemy opens it, the viper will bite the enemy soldier. Hornet Trap This trap uses a hornet or wasp. The hornet's house or cluster of hornets is placed in a box. Then the box is placed in areas that the enemy is likely to pass through. When the enemy moves the trigger, the hornets will be released. Often, this trap has a punji pit set nearby, so when the enemies run everywhere, there's a high chance that they will end up in the punji pit. Arrow Trap This trap consists of a wooden board with a bamboo on top. Inside the bamboo is an arrow with a rubber band attached to it so that the arrow has tension and firing power. The rubber is attached to the release hook and this hook is connected to the trip wire. When the enemy moves the trip wire, the arrow will be released very quickly towards the enemy. This is why this trap is so deadly. Cartridge Trap This trap is difficult to detect because it is so small. It consists of a bullet placed on top of a nail that will serve as its firing pin. This setup is placed in a hole that just fits the enemy's foot. On the surface, it is covered with bamboo and grasses. When the enemy steps on it and the foot slips through, the primer will hit the nail, causing the bullet to explode. Grenade in a can This trap consists of a grenade placed in a can. You can use two grenades and two cans or just one. The grenade in the can has no safety pin and delay element. There's a string that connects the grenade to the stick that the trip wire is tied to on the other side of the road. This trap is often placed along the way. When the enemy touches the trip wire, the grenade will explode immediately because it has no delay element. Flag Bombs This type of trap was created because the Viet Cong soldiers noticed that the American soldiers liked to pick up flags for memorabilia and also to replace the Viet Cong flag with the US flag as a sign that the area was secured. What the Viet Cong did was placed any explosive at the foot of the flagpole. The trigger is the rope tied to the flag itself. When the enemy moves the rope, the bomb will immediately explode, which can seriously damage the enemy's leg. Shrapnels can also injure others around. Now, these booby traps are not only dangerous for the enemy American soldiers, but also for the Viet Cong soldiers, so they made booby trap markers to know if there were any booby traps around and where they were placed. Each trap marker signaled a specific booby trap, but the Viet Cong changed their meaning every now and then because the American soldiers also discovered their meaning. But only one thing is important. When you see these trap markers, a booby trap is placed nearby. In the next video, we will look at the Viet Cong tunnels. You can also watch how the fat man and little boy atomic bombs that were detonated in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan work in this video.